Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to populate your um, web page. Now in a previous web video I have showed you how to add a new page. Now we are going to go back and actually populate the page that we have made. Now find the page that you want to populate and if you click into it, it will then open within the mock-up um, browser. And the process is quite simple. All you have to do is just click on the uh, plus button and this will bring up the add module page. Now you have two different um, options. You have the reusable module or in other words, a global module. And I will do a separate video um, on this a bit later on. We're just going to concentrate on the normal module types. Now, if you click on the drop down, you have a, a full list of all the modules that are available to you. Um, for the purpose of this, this video, I'm going to create a banner. So I'm going to go for the BSM default internal hero. Now you can enter a module name if, for example, you wanted to call it something else. Um, I'm going to leave this bit blank, but you can also um, set a order number. So if you are adding multiple um, modules to your page, and let's say you've already have five or six on there, but you want to um, add one to display somewhere in the middle, then you can always put number three of whichever order you want it to be in. But as this is the first one that we are adding, I'm going to leave it as one. Now, if you click save and continue, it will then bring up the editing page straight away for the um, the module that you have selected. Now for the pre-title, I'm just going to quickly populate them for the purposes of this um, tutorial. Um, extra small heading and then you have the tag here as well which um, essentially uh, dictates the size of the title here so h1 being the biggest and um, h6 being the smallest but the pre-title will always um, come out as a small heading now for the title i will put about us and also the tag i'm going to go for h1 which is the biggest one so it displays big. Now you have the two options, you can either browse an image, uh, which is going to be the background image for your banner, or you can select from the library. When you click on select from the library, it gives you um, all the previous um, images that have been either used or are being used throughout your site for um, similar or the same modules. So somewhere in the site there is a module, um, a banner that is using those images. So I will go for one that's already been used for this one. Now you can, as I said, you can browse and choose a new image or you can go for the one that's within your library. Now you can select the text alignment, uh, either center left or right. I'm gonna go for center. And then this is the content. So you can um, have a little bit of text within your banner if you wanted to um, do that. I'm just going to put um, some content for the purpose of this tutorial. Um, you can also add a button that will be displayed within your um, banner. So say, for example, if you wanted to um, redirect your um, reader to a different page, or if you wanted to um, display something else, um, you can always pick one of the pages you already have available. So for example, let's say about us meet the team and if you add a text to your link and this is what's going to display within the button. Now the padding is um, the spacing that's going to be um, around your module. You have the option of um, top and bottom and then both top and bottom. But as this is the first module and it's the banner, I'm going to leave that blank. And once you're happy, so save your changes and as you can see you now have had your notification and changes have been saved if you close that you can now see your banner uh, here's the button and you can see there's some content the extra small heading the big heading um, you can drag and drop it around obviously at the moment there isn't much on the page but when you are doing so ensure that when you do dragging and dropping it, that the dotted blue line goes orange and then it will stay in that place. But that is how you add a module and also populate it within the um, Venture CMS.